What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. <laughs> Why are you doing like right that? Right now, we're at episode 11 of the final season of Better Call Saul. So poetic. This one is called Breaking Bad. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Let's get it. Oh my on. god, really? Oh, could, this, could this be the best prequel show of all time? At least that's the best prequel show that we've ever seen. House of the Dragon. Oh. Good too. Yeah, well, we're not, well. well so we'll then, see. You know, we can't really. But this is six seasons of goodness. That that was only one season. Only one season. But they killed it in one. Yeah. They killed it in one. <sighs> I mean, we're not going to say House of the Dragon versus Better Call Saul. There's no such thing because it's not long, it's enough, not yet. long enough yet. Uh, we do know that the writing is Chef's Kiss. Chef's Kiss. Man, my nerves are shot already. Are you ready? Well, he just mentioned Walter. He sure did. I forgot we forgot to mention that in the review. He just mentioned Walter. Oh he my said, God. I, "I," he said, "I knew a man who was fifty years old. He was fifty years old. Came in. He was a uh, chemistry teacher. He was broke. He couldn't pay his mortgage. Couldn't pay his mortgage. The next week or the next month or the next, next year, year, he had money to stack up a Volkswagen. Y'all remember Walter's car? Mm-hmm. So he wasn't lying. No." Nope. He did have stacks on 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 this is what he said. Ignacio. Why are we going out there? Oh, please don't do it in the desert. Anywhere but the desert. Oh, God. I'm going to be sick. Oh, my God. Did he say, give me a dollar? Come on, talk to me, guys. Please. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no! No! It wasn't me! It was Ignacio! He's the one! <laughs> what the heck are we doing? Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Well, this is a rental property. Because he, he left her with some money, didn't he? I, um, I can't remember. I thought he left her with a lot of money. He des she deserved it, but I don't know if she took it. She did. She had like a... a Duffel bag or something, I think. Yeah, you gave her? Yeah. Oh! Wow. Back to New Mexico for the first time in a long time. She paranoid? Keep pulling the string and you'll get what I promised. Still get followed. Not as often as when the ship first hit the fan, but I still see them. Skylar White got her deal, so the only ones left to go after are you and Pinkman, and I heard they found his car down by the border, so adios, dopehead. They're still in me. Uh, don't tell me laser tag. Feds found it all, so. But how? It was shells within shells. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. He said, dang, she said they found it all. Laser tag is when they went hey. did all the business with them. Oh, what if? Walter. Well, there you go. Guess that's it. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, I just put more quarters in. Can't you just, I don't know, give me the lowdown. All right, how about Huel? Huel, I guess, back home in New Orleans. Mm. DEA held him under false pretenses or something, so. Last I heard, he walked. Wow. Good. 
I did get one call after everything went down. Kim. Mm. Checking in on me. No kidding? Mm-hmm. Wow. Your name came up. Asked if you were alive. Uh. She asked about me. What did you tell her? Nothing. But she asked. Yep. Uh, I guess this is goodbye. Mm. Dang! Hello? <laughs> Hi. To talk. I'm looking for Kim Wexler. I believe she works there. You grab the hundo before I do, you get to keep it. I grab the hundo first, you buy another round. Thanks. Only rule is, you can't move until I move. Yeah, but I'm, I'm so much closer to it. It's like giving me the money. Oh, <laughs> you lose, sucker. <clears throat> another round, good man. Did he get drunk already? <laughs> Looks like one of our cabs is here. Yeah, it's like uh, I'll bet you for it. <laughs> no bets. <laughs> Come on, hear me out. It's simple. Don't be such a pussy, baby. <clears throat> Look. What? Simple as simple can be. Balance this book of matches on the back of your hand for 10 seconds. That's it. And the cab's yours. I'll even pay for it. Are you just going to punch me or something? No, I promise. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set it on fire. Count with me. Eight. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and loser. You can keep the matches. What a fine girl. I got water here. If you want. On the house. Oh, they don't you have cameras, but people people don't care. The cameras everywhere, people will still break into your house. Mm -hmm. Look at the dog. They don't replace all that. Wheels traveling roadshow in here. Who the hell that is? Because the ship definitely travels. I'm sorry, you said the what? Travels? Chris the ship. So you're not just distribution. You're the whole freaking package. You two actually make the blue stuff. Here? <laughs> That's amazing. Can you not touch? I mean, look at this. I had a fish that could have used this as a vacation home, but you're using it to <laughs> pick good stuff. You gotta give us some gas. I gave it up. the proper amount of gas. <laughs> By removing it, it just was idling too long. It'll start. Ah, you should just let me drive, yo. Oh, look, nothing would be different in this moment except you panicking and flooding the engine. When it idles too long, the fuel pump overheats, and so we just need to let it cool down. Ah, put the key where? No. There's <laughs> Lalo. Ah. Who? Lalo. Not some dude named Lalo sent us. You see, it pretty freaked out. Never even know Lalo on the street. It's nobody. Was it Mike that told him he would not be coming back? Lalo? Bravo. 
I second that. I'm going to give you two, three words of advice. Jiffy. Lube. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. It was exotic. It was cancer. What are those for? Cancer. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, more drinks. This one's on me. Get two more here, please. You don't call it off. Mm -hmm. You sure you don't want to take this one, Vic? I can wait. No, it's all you. Okay. He did it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Okay, color. Yeah, this is our, <laughs> that's our old ugly Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Feed me, what do we got? You remember to take the fish oh, off? I fine. did? Mm -hmm. Oh, enter sunshine. Cast some light into my cold, dark world. Did we see this part? Him on the floor like that? I want to say, yeah. I do too. What about uh, <laughs> that Heisenberg fella? High school chemistry teacher. Yeah. You're shitting me, really? Walter Hartwell White, chemistry teacher over at J.P. Wynn, working with a former student, current meth head, one Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> uh, what else about the teacher? He has lung cancer. Jesus. Stage 3A, he's in treatment, more tests to come, wow. it doesn't look good. Well, listen, even if this guy was going to live, I wouldn't go near him. He's a complete amateur. Is that your appraisal, or is that what he who shall not be named says about him? Ah! Oh! I got a feeling about this. This Heisenberg guy's got something. A years ago, I bought a Betamax. Good product, top of the line. Experts <laughs> said it was better than a VHS. Turned out to be a complete waste of time and money. Hmm? Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> the guy has cancer, man. I found pills in his pocket. Yeah. Okay, the same ones my dad took for like pancreatic cancer. So, a guy with cancer can't be an asshole? Huh. Believe me, I speak from experience. <laughs> I can't rip off a guy with cancer. I'm sorry. I pulled the tape when I left. The door's locked. We right. couldn't get back in even if we wanted to. <laughs> you know, forget it. You're fired. Just go. Just give me the camera and go. Fine. Good. Go. We don't need you. And I know I don't need to tell you this, but since you're such a goddamn amateur, I will anyway. Keep your mouth shut. He's the downfall? No, scare up that. If we're gonna do this, we should leave now. You do the most. You got too much confidence. Well, that was sweet. Mm-hmm. We at school. Man. Said it was locked. You're doing the most. You know you're doing the most. Mm -hmm. What the heck did it go off like that for? I can't stand it. But it's all good. Okay, this one was called Breaking Bad, and they literally picked up, they started from Breaking Bad where uh, Jesse and Walter kidnapped him in, in, the, in the van and took him out to the desert. That was great. It was great yeah. callbacks all throughout. I know everybody was saying, y'all remember when he said such and such? I was like, no, I don't remember that. Mm. But I do remember him being kidnapped and mm. he gave him the lawyer's fee of the dollar, mm. gave him a dollar and told them that it was lawyer client mm -hmm. um, privileges or whatever now that they were good. I remember that part, but I don't remember him saying Lalo and Ignacio. <laughs> I mean, when he said it, when we were watching Breaking Bad, it didn't. Yeah, of course, it, it, wouldn't have, it meant nothing. So to have that callback, I think that was awesome. So, um, he, yeah, he's back at it being slipping Jimmy and bad. He just can't sit still. That's like he's yeah he's Can't, bored yeah because he was doing is. the same thing over and over again making cinnabons mm -hmm. so um so they had an elaborate scheme where hey and his scheme scams are detailed it's insane he ain't home never drink <laughs> he never he never drinks i don't know if he drinks one drink with them but he has to be very vigilant so yep. he has that water bottle I mean, the, uh, the water, what's the thing called? You don't want to know what I want. What I, the I just, Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, but, um, but, yeah.
yeah, he was sucking the <laughs> liquor up like that. I mean, it's the scheme. Hey, it worked. Mm -hmm. But who they were dropping off? They were taking pictures of credit cards, account numbers, license, tax forms, tax forms back and forth. I mean, um, front and back, getting all the signatures and everything so they can get the signatures correct. What they doing? These people? I have no idea. I have no idea. But a team of three, you know, somebody's going to be the wiser. And uh, someone's going to always rat somebody out. Mm -hmm. you, should, you shouldn't be a team of three at all. Always. You can only be a team of two if you can do it. Because at, at least if you know you didn't say nothing, the other person mm -hmm. did. This joker <laughs> getting ready to get caught, though, breaking in like that, though. But he's still going to... He found out the dude had cancer and he didn't even care. He did a little bit. You could tell. Mm -hmm. But... But then he remember how much of a, uh, a, a head case Walter White was like, cray, cray. Oh, yeah, like, okay, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Good seeing Mike in this episode, too. Yeah. And, of Good course, Mike was Mike. doing his, his police duty. And, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> basically, yeah, because he was his sidekick in this. He was doing all of his uh, mm -hmm. all of his work, his investigative work. Go back to the earlier of the beginning, Francesca. The earlier of the beginning? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, the other yeah. No, this one. Okay, go ahead. I think it was this one where uh, he reached out to Francesca in the desert at the payphone and um, he had money stashed that he gave to her. I thought it was the last one, but okay. I thought it was this one. It might have been. Um, and then <laughs> while they were talking, he found out that Kim asked about him. I think and that was the last episode. But go ahead. Just keep talking, though. I thought Kim it was this asked, one. But go ahead. Kim asked about him. Yeah, Kim asked about him, and he um, got her information, reached out, and then you couldn't hear the conversation, and then at the end, he was beating up the, the phone booth and everything. That was this one. Okay, baby. He was beating up the phone booth, and we don't hit, get, get, we didn't get to hear what, what uh, the conversation was about, what was said. If he, even if he even talked to her. Mm-hmm. Who knows? He, he may not have talked to her. It could yeah. have been somebody else. Yeah. He asked for her. Mm-hmm. But who's to say she got on the phone? Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, but him to be so irate, I don't think he would have. You think he... Well, yeah, I think he may have been irate with her. Could have been, yeah. Um, yeah man, but it, it, was, it was cool to see that he was still in contact with Francesca, even though she hung up on him. And he's like, oh, I guess that's it. That's uh, the only click. contact. <laughs> he said, all right, well, I guess that's bye. She said, click. <laughs> Why did we say she said click? Right, right. She said what? <laughs> he said nothing. She hung up the phone. Man, oh, man. This, this show that's is it. so good. Yep. All, all right. right. Uh, let it, oh, Carol Burnett scene uh, is going to be the downfall of Jimmy. I think so. Some kind of way. She's gonna ask him what he was doing there that late night, and it's all it's all kind of crack crash to him. He's either gonna either gonna be dead or in jail. All right, so uh, let us know what you guys hey, thought. You said dead? Who gonna kill him? Maybe he's, you never know. He might try to rob somebody, go in somebody's house like right now. Dude might be uh hurt him break the glass. Pow! You never know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yep. So let us know what you guys thought. Yeah. We'll see y'all next time. Yep. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, wake up.